it's Rosie here, and it's Maisie and Rosie's DIY Restaurant. Today's menu, um, what I will be teaching you how to make today is cookies and ice cream. Well, we'll be making the cookies from scratch, but not the ice cream. So, what you will need for this recipe is a mixer, a whisk, a bowl, a knife, a spoon, some butter, a sieve, a tub of ice cream, a cup full of sugar, or how, or like a packet of sugar, some milk, cream milk I like to use, an egg, which I've got somewhere where I can't really remember, and some plain flour. I'm using Baker's, the best little leaf product ever, as you already know. So let's get started. So I am just going to take my butter and put it in the bowl, like this. I take my knife and just slide off thin chunks of butter. This is a weird kind of butter, by the way. It's a special kind that you get from the Buttons Roll Market. You're never gonna be sure what you can find in there. But trust me, it's delicious. So as this isn't really working, what I do a lot of the time is just take my bowl and put it in the oven to make the butter soften so I can cook it eat easier. Won't be a minute. So I have taken my butter out of the oven after about 20 seconds. You can't really see it, it's but in this little market, seeing kind of yellow as the bowl. A cup of sugar and tip it into the bowl. Okay, now that's all gone. The cup, you are gonna need to use it later. Start stirring the mixture around until it's quite creamy. It's not gonna take very long because of the soft butter. Take your egg and crack it into the cup like this. So as you can see, this is not rotten, but if it was, then I could just wash the cup, throw the egg away, and get a new cup with a new egg. That is a problem about doing it straight into the bowl, because you can't really fish out a rotten egg. It will still have little traces of it left over. So that's why I do it in a cup. Pour the egg into the bowl. A can of cream milk, take it, and, oh, these things are really hard to open. Mm, got it. And just tip it into the bowl, like this, until about half of the thing is gone. Take your whisk and stir the mixture around a bit. Next, I take my jumbo pack of Baker's Plain Flour. Tip it into the sieve, like this. And then I get my spoon and tap on the side of the sieve. It doesn't take very long to go through, so it's already sunk into the egg. And take my spoon and give it a stir. Do it slowly because flour is one of the ingredients that you need to stir quite slowly to let the air in. Now that I've done all of this, it's quite biscuit-like. Um, and I just take my bowl and put the mixture into this little pan here. I roll it into cookie sheets until it's like flat, like this. Do this with another one. Just, yeah, put them here. Then I put the treat in the oven. Sorry, I meant tray, not tree. Just take it and put it in the oven down here. Um, let this cook for about 20 minutes, and then it's time to get the ice cream and serve. I tried one cookie to make sure they were cooked and tasted okay, and boy, were they nice. I love hot cookies. Now, excuse fingers, but I'm just gonna take this cookie and place it on the plate like this. Now I get my ice cream tub. This big scoop ice cream and dollop it by my cookie. She's delicious while it's still hot, so eat it quickly. Thanks for watching another episode of Maisie and Rosie's DIY Restaurant. Be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!